Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of using the mod zone convergence theorem to show that a recursively defined sequence converges. Let's consider the sequence a n plus 1 is equal to 1 quarter plus a n squared. Let's assume that a 0, we can start the sequence off a 0, the 0 term will be equal to 0. We can start off at 0. And then, of course, if a0 is 0, then a1 will be a quarter, for example. So a1 will be 1 quarter. And there is our uh, recursively defined sequence, right? Okay. Um, so I claim that the sequence converges, and we're going to show that it converges by showing, number one, it's bounded, and number two, that it has, it's either not increasing or not decreasing. So let's check that. Okay, so first, observe the following. So I claim that the terms in the sequence are less than a half. So that's my first claim. So claim one. And you can see that by doing some investigation. If you plug in a couple terms, you'll see that everything is less than a half, right? So I claim that a n is less than or equal to one half, okay? So it's clearly true for a one, so the statement is true, so we'll do this by induction, so the proof is by induction. Um, a one is less than or equal to a one half, so that statement is true. And then secondarily, let's suppose that a n is less than or equal to one half, then then a n plus one by a recursion is equal to one quarter plus a n squared, but a n is less than or equal to a half, so this is less than or equal to one quarter plus one half squared, but one half squared is a quarter, so I have a quarter plus a quarter and a quarter plus a quarter is a half, and so that shows that a n plus one is less than or equal to half, and so our claim is verified by induction, so that proves our claim. So the first claim is that our sequence is bounded. Great, our sequence is bounded by one half. And now let's look at, I want to show that it, it's determine if there's some monotonicity that's involved in our sequence. So let's look at the difference of a n plus one and a n, okay? So this will be equal to, um, let's see, I will use our recursion over here, so it will happen. So a n plus one will be one quarter plus a n squared, and I'm going to subtract off another quarter plus a n minus one squared, the quarters cancel, and I have a n squared minus a n minus one squared, which I, it's a difference of squares, I can write that as a n plus a n minus one, that's a positive expression, and then I have an a n minus a n minus one, that could be potentially be negative, right, potentially, but I can do the same trick, I can complete the square again, right, so I can complete the square, I can write this as a, um, a n minus one minus a n minus two. So this is gonna be an a n plus a n minus one. Then a what? Then an a n minus one minus plus a n minus two times what? Times the next thing in the sequence, which will be the difference of a n minus one minus a n minus two. And so I can turn this crank forever, basically. And so if I turn this a whole bunch of times, I'll be left with a n plus a n minus one, then a n minus one plus a n minus two, all the way down to a one minus a zero. That's where this recursion will stop. But I know that a one minus a zero is positive, so I have the product of a whole bunch of positive terms over here. So we conclude from this is that a n plus one minus a n is greater than or equal to zero. So in other words, this sequence over here is monotone increasing. So a n is monotone. It's monotone, okay? Now I can use the monotone convergence theorem, so by monotone convergence, by monotone convergence, um, a n converges to a limit L. And how do I find that L? Well, I can use this recursion, because the left-hand side is gonna converge to L. This will converge to one quarter by algebraic properties of limits that will converge to L squared. And so we have this relationship over here, we have that to L squared uh, minus L, um, plus one quarter is equal to zero. That is clearly a perfect square. That's L minus one half quantity squared. So I have L minus one half quantity squared is equal to zero. And that says that the limit of our sequence is equal to one half. So L is one half, beautiful. And I have AN converges to one half by monotone convergence. Thank you very much.